Welcome back to another episode of Pioneer Palette. My name is Nathan Ye. Today we're going to be looking at slumps, grunts, or as if you're in the south, you're going to call them spoon pies. You may not think that the pioneers brought sugar with them on the long journey, but they did. And the reason they did this was because they wanted to spice up the food that they ate on a regular basis, and also to make pies. So what are grunts? In short, grunts are a lazy man's pie. What we're going to do is that we're going to take some fresh berries, and we're going to make some biscuit dumplings. And instead of making a pie, we're going to make kind of a, a berry soup with some dumplings in it. This was probably done on the Oregon Trail because if you think about it, a pie takes a lot of labor and a lot more ingredients and a lot more work. So if it's been a tiring day, you may want to do this uh, casual dish instead of baking a whole pie. For our recipe, we're going to need two pints of various berries. This can be Oregon native berries or other berries. Today, we're going to be using a mix of blackberries and blueberries. You're also going to add at this time a 3 4th cup of sugar and 1 4th cup of water. And then we're going to put them into our cast iron pan and we'll mix it up. We're going to mix this up gently. After we're done mixing, we're going to have Schmer guard our berries while we uh, mix up our dumplings. For the dumplings, we'll need one cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of lard, and a pinch of salt. And finally, a half cup of buttermilk. And we're going to mix that up. You might also need to add a little bit of buttermilk as needed if your dough doesn't get liquidy enough. When you're done, the batter should be a little bit gloopy because you're going to be wanting to plop it into the uh, berry mixture. The skillet's on our burner, and now we're going to need to set it to a boil. Once it boils, we're going to lower the heat uh, to a simmer, and then we'll uncover it and then put our dumpling. As you can see, our berries are boiling now, and we're going to put in our dumplings. You're going to want to lower your heat before you add your dumplings. And we'll do that now. Now we're going to add a cinnamon sugar topping. And now we're supposed to cover this tightly for 15 minutes, never opening it before the end of that 15 minutes. Great, our grunts are completely done. We're going to serve it up, but first, um, the name grunts is, comes from supposedly that the uh, biscuits would uh, make noises like pop while cooking, and so we're going to check to see if they actually do. Well, it doesn't seem to be a lot of grunting from the... anything really. It's done! And even though this would be great with some ice cream, it wouldn't exactly be 100% historically accurate. So I'm going to just eat it like this and see how it tastes. The berries are delicious. Now let's try some of this uh, biscuit. It's not too sweet. Very much complements the sweet berries and it goes really well together. Uh, the look is amazing, and the taste is just as good. I highly recommend this dessert to everyone who wants to try it. Even though we used fresh berries in this recipe, I think that uh, frozen berries would be just as good. 
Also, you don't have to be just limited to blackberries and blueberries. You can also get currants or huckleberries, other native Oregon berries, to use in this recipe. And I think they would be equal, if not better. Thank you for watching this episode of Pioneer Palette. Be sure to tune in next time to our next video, which we'll be releasing soon. Say bye, Shmer.